All right. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to start this video or. Uh, okay, this is not me making fun of the Indian uh, culture or the Indian tradition, but it's 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 so very common when I get youngsters who will send me messages about marriage okay because obviously you know you don't have any experience in marriage it's a very uh, scary decision it's a life-changing decision it's not something that you should take lightly so now when you want to get married when you want to get married or you're thinking about marriage uh, that in itself is scary but then when you have something like my parents want me to get married or my parents are forcing me to get married or my parents are pushing me to get married. That in itself brings a whole list of complications, a whole list of problems. And uh, I understand where they're coming from because I have also had Indian parents, Indian families, Indian friends. You know, I was born and raised, even though I was born and raised in, uh, sorry, raised in Dubai. Uh, I'm aware of how the Indian culture is. Okay, so I'm not ignorant or it's not new to me. Sadly, in today's day and age, today, you're talking of 2024, when you still have these pressures being put, it kind of baffles me that, you know, we think we are so modern, we assume that AI and uh, artificial intelligence and open AI and, uh, you know, futuristic driverless cars and all that, but we are still stuck in the old traditional cultural, you know, mindset. Now, what should you do? See, this video that I'm, I'm sharing with you is to address what should you do if, you know, like they say, push comes to shove or if you are pressurized into making a decision. Oh, I, my parents want me to get married or my parents are forcing me to get married or my parents want me to get married. What should I do or how do I deal with this? Okay, understand this much. It's very easy for me to talk because I'm not in your shoes. I don't stay with society. I was never close to my parents. Uh, I've lived, I've been a rebel. I, I care a damn about what uh, others would say. Obviously, I, I respect society and its rules, but I don't live by that. So you're not me and I'm not you. So it's very, it's unfair for me to make fun of you or to tell you, oh, this is how you should live. And it's not right for me to have a one-size-fits-all solution. But then, with logic, with common sense, what can you do? So here are few things or thoughts that come to my mind, which I'll share with you. And you can give, you know, feel free to comment down below. See, number one is parents who looked after you, took care of you, paid your uh, food bills, your accommodation expenses, your studies who are investing for your future, who are, you know, who want to leave their property, everything in your name. So they are your well-wishers. They don't mean bad for you. Okay. They really genuinely want the best for you. And the reason why an Indian parent is, oh, when, you know, like Russell Peters uh, in his first comedy, that was in 2004, I think. It said, Russell, why don't you get married? When will you get married? You know, uh, so you're growing old and, you know, so the what the parents want is to see that their child has settled down in terms of his career, settled down in terms of his earnings, settled down in terms of relationship. And they're, they, you know, they're getting old. So they want to see you get married, have a family, have a child so that it becomes a complete uh, circle, circle of life, like a joint family. You have father, mother, you have their son and daughter. And you have children. And as a grandparent, they would love to play with their children. Okay, grandchildren. That is a dream of every grand grandparent. That is why if you see grandparents, when they play with the little children, they are full of joy. They are full of happiness because that's what they want. Even my wife's uh, grandmother, uh, sorry, my wife's mother and her grandmother, um, you know, she's already passed away. So they would love to play with the baby because that's, you know, it's the circle of life. This is the last uh, generation that they're going to see. Okay. They know that their time is up. So 
parents want that for from their children and they want to know that you are settled down. But the problem with that logic or that concept today is we are living in very different times. There was no uh, computer, internet, smart devices, dating apps. There was none of those uh, options available those days. Today you can have a guy or a girl take their smartphone, take their smartphone, go to anywhere or even if they are sitting in front of their mom and dad, right in front of them, they can even look through a porno site, they can look through an Instagram, go through some of the adult sites and see a girl twerking or shaking her boobs or her butt or you can even watch uh, adult pornographic images sitting here and your parents are sitting there, maybe they are praying or may you can do anything, you can go to a game, you can sit in the toilet, you can uh, in the office, sitting with your phone connect and they have caught people doing that. So we are living in very different days, very different times where once upon a time a girl was not allowed to go out. Today sitting at home, a girl can not only interact but also communicate with another man. He need not be single, he can be married, he can be old enough to be a father, a grandfather. There are females in their 40s who chat with underage boys. I have personally, personally uh, chatted with individuals who pay me money as a client and they've confessed all this. So what do you do? We are living in very different times. So when you're trying to put rules that worked many, many years ago, many centuries ago to today's world, that template doesn't work here. It's like having a Western template or sorry, you're trying to, yeah, you're trying to put an Indian template on a Western lifestyle. It is not going to work. Number three is, you know, you telling me my mom and dad want me to get married. That shows you're still a small boy. You're not a grown ass man. Because you're still my mummy, daddy, mummy, daddy want me to get married. My mummy, mummy, my daddy, daddy want me to get married. Whoa, whoa. Are you a fucking man of the house or what? Uh, you'll say that, oh, I have to respect my parents. Yeah, respect your parents, but you don't allow your mother to decide your hairstyle. You don't allow your father to decide which girl you'll date or where you'll go, what you'll eat. There you want freedom. But then for a life changing event, you want your mom and dad to decide for you. I'm sure even your undergarments, even the movies that you watch, even the lifestyle that you live, the friends you have, you don't take your mother's and father's approval. Then why the hell are you giving an excuse, a lame excuse about marriage? Oh, my mother and father. Boss, if you're not ready for it, don't do it. It's as simple as that. And marriage, I've told you this before in my videos. Marriage is not about sex. Marriage is not about, oh, I'm feeling lonely, let me get married. Get lonely, if you're lonely, get a dog. If you're, oh, but what about sex? Paid sex is available. Go, get yourself, go for a date, man. Have a girlfriend who you can enjoy and have fun without the legal uh, complexities of signing a dotted line. Oh, I want her to be with me for life. What do you think? Just because you signed a do dotted line, she will be with you for life? How many divorces take place? Come on, man, grow the, grow the fuck up here. Yeah. Don't start assuming all, don't become a child. You know, the problem is, you know, when you want to justify your stupidity, you know? oh, mom, dad, oh, my mom's dying wish. Like my girlfriend, ex-girlfriend who wanted to marry the dream boat cabin crew guy. She's having sex with me, but she's discussing marriage with that guy. And what was the excuse she gave? Oh, my father's dying wish. Oh, my mother's heart will break. She'll die. Oh, Lord, I can't go against their wishes. She wanted to get married, but she was giving me all bullshit. Eventually, she got married to him. Even though she was having sex with me, she still got married to him. Well, guess what? Marriage didn't work out. He dumped her ass. He hated her father. He hated her mother. So now, father's dying wish, oh, mother's uh, fragile heart, what all bullshit here. Yeah. Oh, God wanted, what God? How many divorces are taking place? How many children are left? Uh, how many spouses are cheated? Where is God there? Where is parents? And remember, if tomorrow your marriage doesn't work out, which 99 out of 100%, if your excuse is, my mom and dad want me to get married, 99 out of 100%, it will not work. And then what, you'll blame your mom and dad? You'll blame your mom and dad for 
what decisions you made, how you used your little ding dong. Your ding dong is thinking, not you. That is your problem. So stop giving bullshit excuses. Look, I simply tell my clients or youngsters this. If you're going to tell me my mother and father want whatever, you are not ready to be a man. You are not at all fit to be a man. A man calls the shots. A man tells the mother and father, listen, you both of you, you're my mother and father, fine. This is where the line is drawn. Don't cross. But if you, mummy, mummy, daddy, daddy, Boss, you're not a grown-ass man. A grown-ass man knows how to put the mother and father in their place. And if you can't do that, you're not fit to be called a man. You're not fit to get married. You're not fit to be an alpha male. You're a simp. And I can challenge you on this. The female will come to know about this. And that is where she'll not respect you at all. At all. And eventually, she will yearn for a man and not a simp. That is why so many Indian marriages today are failing. Because they portray that they are alpha men. Alpha, oh, I'm man, I drink, I smoke, I can chat those brave statements online, being anonymous. But they don't have the, the guts. They don't have the set of nuts to stand up to their mom and dad. I'm not saying disrespect them. But you need to know where to draw the line. Just because you give birth doesn't mean now you decide what you sleep, where you eat, how you do. You're a grown-ass adult. Live your life on your terms. Tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong. Because if that is the reason you're getting married, my mom and dad want me to get married, then boss, put an advertising sign. My mommy and daddy will go for the interview. My mommy and daddy will negotiate the deals. My mommy and daddy is approval I need before doing anything. Don't call yourself a man. Call yourself a boy. Understood? Anyway, uh, one, one final thought before I go. My wife, who is Thai, she's very aware. You know, Thai women, they discuss between themselves that majority of Indian men, this is a fact, huh? this is not just for the video purpose. May, almost all the Indian men, they say, they will dance to their mummy and daddy's tune. That's why they don't respect, one of the many reasons, they don't respect Indian men. And it's a fact. They will have sex, they will enjoy, but at the end of the day, they'll dance to mummies and daddies too. Anyway, this is what I wanted to say. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Good, bad, ugly. Love to hear from you. You guys take care. Let me know if I made sense or not. All right.